you can see what I was able to do with the X-Acto blade in the foam so that's kind of what you're going for and then you can kind of see the exit hole down there at the bottom I did clean that up a little bit with the razor um, after I did the opening with the soldering iron the next thing I'm going to do is take down these walls on the fuselage uh, I'm going to take it down to about the thickness that we have here in the back which is about three quarters of an inch I'm not going to hollow out the bottom anymore I'm going to kind of leave the bottom as a backbone for impact resistance if the owner needs to do anything with that he can for sure um, but I'm going to leave that alone and if he doesn't need to thin it down that's probably better so I'm going to thin the walls out I need to clean up some of the Gorilla Glue from where the fuselage halves were joined to get that looking nice and pretty and save a couple tenths of an ounce so let me show you how I secure the canopy um, these are just plywood inserts and I, you can see that I've cut out a place for the insert to go okay and I'm gonna push it in about half an inch these are inch square so there's two on the side and I'm going to secure these with goop. I'm going to put goop inside the hole and then slip in the insert. Um, and we have a canopy latch in the back. Okay. So you can see I've cleared out an area for the canopy latch. I'm going to secure that in place. I'm just, or I'm going to tack that in place with hot glue. And you can see it fits in there. I'm going to tack that in place with hot glue. And then... I'm going to secure it permanently with goop and the foam that I cut out to make room for the canopy latch. Okay, so that'll be really secure once I get the goop in there holding everything in place. Okay, so I happen to have a appropriately sized brass tube on hand, so I cut it to size. Uh, and then I cleared out a little bit of a space with the Dremel and then covered the end in masking tape so I don't get any goop in there when I insert the tube. Okay, and I'm just going to insert that in there flush uh, with goop and clean up any excess, let that sit overnight, and then I'll have a place for the canopy latch to insert into. The canopy installation is complete. I've cut out three slots to match the three tabs in the canopy. And then we have the brass tube inserted to catch the hatch latch. And it does take a little bit of force to pop this in. Um, obviously we don't want it coming off in flight. So if the builder or the uh, owner wants, he can reduce the size of the tabs to make it easier to take in and out. But right now that's the way I have it. Um, so yeah it is time to paint we've got the fiberglass um, on the fillet and on the sub fin and on the front fairings and there is nothing left to do oh i lied uh, we need to add the wing clips um, but i'll do that after we paint so on to painting for this build i'm going to be using these four colors the black white orange and blue and they're all krylon uh, looks like they're all fusion except for the orange one, but they're all a all-in-one primer and paint. And then for the stencil part, for the digital camo, um, I'm going to be very lightly dusting this with uh, 3M77. And then let that tack up, and then I will stick that very gently um, after I get the base coat on there before I spray on the next color. Uh, that way we shouldn't get too much, if any, bleed underneath the stencil. So that's going to be the process for the wings and the fuselage. Alright, so after we have the color on, I'm going to use polycrylic clear satin to finish it and that will be our protective coat. Oh. 
I'm going to mist on a little bit of polycrylic onto the white before I apply the camo. Um, just because I want to protect the white paint from potentially getting any of that 3M77 in it and then discoloring over time. So um, I'm just guessing. I don't know. I've never, I've never applied a masking that way, so I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to find out. Okay, so for masking, I'm going to use this 12 millimeter masking tape for curves from Tamiya. And let's give it a shot. So now that the paint is done on the wing, I'm going to mark out where I want the Elevon hinge. Um, and then I'm going to add the control horn and the control rod and then a servo cover. And that will be the end of that. I also need to add the clip right here. And then we will be done. So next we got to do the um, control rods and the control horns. So you can here you can see we're using the three quarter inch uh, Robart ball joint control horns. These things are amazing. I've been using them for years, never had one break. They're super smooth and very aerodynamic. And then we have two solder clevises, two um, 256 threaded clevises, rubber stoppers, rubber um, keepers and then the 256 rods. So that's what I will be using to do the control horns on, control rods on the wings. Um, I have centered the control arm and yeah, we're good to go. Now because this wing is so large um, and the screws that go through to the other keeper on the other side of the horn um, aren't long enough to reach all the way through the wing, um, I had to sink in uh, this horn just a little bit and definitely do this from the top side not the bottom side you want to make sure that if you're doing like a full speed pull out or a full dive pull out that it uh, will not pull through your wing so definitely do the sinking on the top cut through the Kevlar on the top do not cut through the Kevlar on the bottom um, and now the screws are long enough to travel all the way through the wing to the keeper on the other side also, I'm going to harden this balsa with a super thin CA. Um, it's probably not necessary, but it definitely can't hurt. So I'm going to do that real quick before I mount the horn. And there it is. I cut down the control arm to the hole that I'll be using. Um, so that I can put these so that these servo covers will fit in place um, and just make it look a little bit nicer. These are what I use for wing locks. You can see they're made by top model. okay. Um, and then here's a wing here's a wedge to pry the wing apart from the fuselage. Um, and then I just made a cutout with my favorite Dremel attachments to fit the lock. Okay, and I'm just going to goop that in place and I'm going to let that sit for about 12 to 24 hours before I do anything with it to make sure that's fully set up. Um, and that does push all the way in, I'm just not getting it right now. So, and then I will do a matching hole in the wing and put this in and goop that in place and let that sit for a while. Uh, before I try to pull the wing apart, okay? Um, these are fantastic. I've been using these for years. I've never had a wing. I've never had an issue with one uh, coming apart when you didn't want it to. And so that's what I use. Okay, I let this attachment uh, sit in here for 24 hours after I gooped it. And then we have uh, the clip that goes in the wing. Push that in. And then make sure I can slide on the wing with the hole that I made 
in the wing to accept the clip. Going to make sure that they line up and I can seat the wing fully. And indeed I can. So I'm going to extract that clip and then goop it into the other wing. Well, hold on, let me show you a little bit of another, let me show you another step here real quick. Okay, so I put masking tape over the clip and then I cut out the receptacle for the clip that goes in the wing and I covered this part of the masking tape in Vaseline so that there's no chance of the goop that squeezes out of the wing from bonding the wing and the body together. So now I'm going to push goop into the hole. Gonna get quite a bit in there. That's probably too much. That's definitely too much. And you can tell it's too much because it's pushing up through the middle of the clip. So if it pushes up through the middle of the clip, uh, the clip won't be able to close, uh, bend to fit inside of the the other side or the the clip part on the wing. So you got to make sure it doesn't come up into that clip area. And it looks like that's a little bit too much now. And it looks like we're just about right on there. So I'm going to push this into the fuselage. And then I'm going to push the wing onto the clip. And then I'm going to let the weight of the fuselage and I'll let the weight of the fuselage make sure that stays flush. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for oh, probably a day just to make sure that it absolutely cures and won't pull out. Okay, so that's that process. I just need to do the other side. And that literally is the end of building a Graugans. That's the last piece. Hope you enjoyed. Mm -hmm.